authorized by the city government, the so-called March of Millions saw leftists, liberals and nationalists join students and teachers who marched along the streets of Moscow chanting, Russia can do without Putin. Prepared to dig in for a long fight, the protesters call Putin's return to the Kremlin a setback for democracy. They remain worried because the Russian president is now in a position to further extend his rule if he wins another term when his mandate expires in 2018. Opposition activists said they are committed to defending the rights that Russians are deprived of, the right to an honest election and honest government. Opposition leader Boris Netsov told supporters to destroy the thievery Putin monarchy by convincing parliament to alter presidential term limits and limit the president's powers. Anti-corruption crusader Alexei Navalny took to the stage, urging demonstrators to keep up the pressure on the Kremlin with even more protests. About 7,000 police officers stood guard while a police helicopter hovered overhead. Most of the protest action remained peaceful. Opposition leader Sergei Udaltsov then tried to start a new march after the sanctioned protest hit its 10 p.m. deadline. A request police wouldn't stand for one minute longer, so they arrested him and some of his supporters. Rally organizers also celebrated news of another sizable opposition protest held in St. Petersburg. Putin has dismissed the protesters as a minority, saying they do not have wide support in Russia.